A DNA analysis of people from the ancient Kaya kingdom shows that genes were similar to those of modern-day Koreans. The finding has led researchers to presume that Korean's genetic identity originates from the Three Kingdoms era. Remains that were discovered in 2019 in ancient tombs and relic sites in Kim Hye Gyeongsangnam-do province are presumed to belong to the people who had lived in the Kumgwangkaya period between the 3rd and the 5th centuries AD. The Genome Center of the Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology and the University of Vienna in Austria have jointly extracted DNA from the bone and teeth samples of 22 ancient people and decoded their sequencing data. A high-quality genome data analysis of eight people showed that six of them had similar genetic information as modern-day Koreans. The finding means that Koreans' genetic continuity, such as dry earwax and less severe body odor, dates back to the Three Kingdoms era and has remained unchanged to this day. A montage prediction based on genome data shows that ancient people from that era looked very much like today's Koreans. 갈색 머리를 가지고 있다든지 갈색 눈을 가지고 있다든지 이제 이런 것들이 이제 비슷한 유전자를 계속 가지고 있었고 어, 유전적으로 크게 다르지 않다라는 걸알수 있었습니다. It's the first genome analysis of people who lived in the Three Kingdoms era. It serves as a reason to presume that the Koreans' identity was established during that time. I think this research is very interesting and very important for whole Korea because we can bridge the gap in our knowledge we can bridge the Neolithic ancient genomes and modern Korean population. The findings have been published in the International Academic Journal, Current Biology.